Hi everybody, this is Bonnie and I want to show you how I made this card. Um, I just love it. I saw on, um, I think it's Dawn Sosinski, I'm not sure of her last name, how she made this and I just fell in love with it and I had to come up with a little Easter card and I thought it was great and I wanted to share it with my viewers. So here I go. First thing I did was I took and I stamped the, um, everybody, it's out of the, every bunny, everybody stamp set, that Stampin' Up Cells, and I stamped this little guy with the little egg. I thought he was awesome. So cute. So then I took and I colored it in. I took Early Espresso. And I took some Lucky Lime and colored in the bow. Then I took uh, Blushing Bride and did the ear. And then I took Pool Party and did the egg. Then I took the wide oval punch and I punched it out to make it look like an egg. Now we'll let that dry for a little bit and then we're on to the cool little technique right here, how I got this ginnum look. What you need is a stamp pad. In this case, I'm gonna use Lucky Lime. And you need um, a brayer and this piece of paper, which this is Whisper White, it's three and a half by four. And then you need the line stencil embossing folder that um, Stampin' Up sells. And what you wanna do is you wanna um, put some ink on your brayer and how you put the ink on is you roll and lift, roll and lift to get the ink onto your briar. Then you want to take and you want to put the ink on the bigger side of your um, of your template. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. If you pick this up, this is a little a narrower, this one's wider on top. You see how this one's wider and this one's narrower right there? You wanna put the ink on the wider end. Then you wanna take your pattern or your piece of paper and you kinda of wanna, oops, you wanna put it on the part that you did not ink. You kinda of just wanna line it up here. Now I like to go down a little ways because I don't go real close to the top because I didn't want to hit this side. So I like to go down a little bit. And when you get it where you want, you close it up. Hold it tight like a little sandwich. Then we're going to get out our plates. And then you want the no tab plate. And then I'm going to run it through the big shot. Okay. And I'll be right back. So you get that. Now, you can, if you have a sink near your craft area or whatever, you can take it easily, run these underwater and clean them right up. But what I do is I just have baby wipes and I just Sprayer. wipe them right up. I just run it on the baby wipe to clean it up. And then I would roll it on my paper a few times just to make sure that it's good and cleaned off. That looks good. Okay, so 
So now for the next color, you want to. I'm taking Pool Party, and you want to ink it up just like before. I'll show you here again. And this time you might have to ink it a few times to get the blue. This is kind of a light, lighter blue effect. Oh, these would be awesome for baby cards. I'm like, I've got all these ideas already. <laughs> now this time, last time we put the card in this way. Well, this time we want to put it in this way. Okay. And we're going to close it down. No and tab. Again, we're going to put it in. Our, you want it on tab one. And then I'm going to run it through the big shot. And then when you take it out, voila! Is that not cool or what? I probably could have used a little more ink right here on this edge, but that's okay. I'm all right with it. We'll just leave it like that. And so then let's get on with the rest of the card. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this piece to um, this Lucky Lime. Eh? Oops, knocked my card over. Okay, so it looks like that. Then I'm gonna take my eggs and I'm gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals and put a couple on each side and one at the top. I'm going to move the ones from the bottom half first. I'm kind of trying to make these look like eggs. And then I'm going to put a little bit of snail and I want them down closer to the bottom. So I am going to put a little grass on here. Now, I've got this piece of um, Lucky Lime, and I've got a Martha Stewart's Grass Punch. You could make your own grass with just cutting, but I really like this punch. And so I'm just cutting off, cutting a little piece, enough to go um, across the edges here. Okay, now I'm going to trim this down. So they have just about that much left. And then I'm going to take this snail. I'm going to put some snail on the back of it. I'm ahead of myself. Back up. I need to add this first. <laughs> I'm adding this to um, Pool Party. And this uh, is a standard card. Five and a half by four and a quarter. Then we're going to add this little grass. So it looks like the eggs are in the grass here. Now I know why I added that ahead of time because I cut it before. Oh, it's just not my day to do a video, guys. Well, we'll trim it to the best that I can here with it on the cord. Well, you guys get to see all my mistakes I make, too. <laughs> so there you go, like that. Then I went ahead and I took the Happy Easter Every Bunny and I use the Lucky Lime. And I'm going to stamp this right down here in the bottom. And then I'm going to use the Modern Label Punch. And punch this out. And then I'm going to take the Pool Party. And I'm just going to sponge it all over. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm just going to put and then center that right there. And how cute is that? Are these not the cutest little cards? I just absolutely love them. So I just wanted to share them with you. Thanks everybody. I hope you can use this technique. Bye-bye.